So we are going to work on another example for distribution of sample means and again the way it works is that if we have a population with mean mu and standard deviation sigma and we are drawing simple random samples of size n from this population then the sample means x bar they will vary with mean is mean of mu and standard deviation of sigma over square root of n that is the uh, sample means you know will have more consistency around the mean as compared to the individuals and this holds if the population is much larger than the sample size and that will be the case in most of our examples now regarding the distribution of the population sorry regarding the distribution of the sample means what we have is that if the population has a normal distribution then the sample means will also have a normal distribution now you had central limit theorem which uh, proved for us that if the sample size is very large then the sample means will have approximately a normal distribution even if the population does not have a normal distribution okay so let's take an example to illustrate this theorem say we have a computer manufacturer who has determined that the mean time to resolve a technical trouble for a customer over the phone is 16.7 minutes and the standard deviation of 10.2 minutes and we have to find the probability that the mean time for simple random samples of 100 such calls will be more than 20 minutes okay so what we have here if we look at the population that is the times for all the calls then uh, you have this given that mu the population mean is how much 16.7 minutes right okay and uh, standard deviation is 10.2 minutes okay all right and uh, let's write here that it is in minutes and we are interested in knowing about uh, the distribution of sample means for simple random samples of 100 calls okay now let me go ahead and make these fonts large okay so here all right so if we go for x bar that is the sample mean then what we see is so then for the sample means x bar we have the mean okay let me change the font again the mean is still what the mean is still 16.7 minutes okay but what happens is the standard deviation of x bars okay would be lower than the standard deviation of the population okay but so but the standard deviation is how much the standard deviation will be the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size and the sample size here is 100 so that's pretty easy to do all right the square root is 10 or you could use your calculator okay so it's how much 1.02 minutes and uh, since we are yeah let's take 100 as a large sample size so and the distribution of the sample means okay is approximately normal right okay and we can conclude that from here all right so we have a no so now we have a normal distribution with mean of 16.7 minutes right 
and standard deviation as 1.2 minutes okay and uh, what we have to find is that uh, what is the probability that the sample mean will be more than 20 minutes okay so we have to determine the probability that the mean x bar for these sample of 100 calls will be more than 20 minutes that is we have to compute this area so what we shall do in in order to do that we are using a calculator so let's use a calculator so in the calculator we will go to normal cdf all right because we want to determine the entire area from here to here okay so press enter now first you have to write the lowest value which happens to be how much 20 in this case and then the larger limit in this case we can keep on going to the right as you know as long as we want so a safe value to enter will be the largest that the calculator can handle that is 10 to the 99 and then we have to give the parameters that is the mean and the standard deviation so the mean is 16.7 and the standard deviation is how much one point what was that one point zero two or oh, here I have a typo I apologize for that I'll fix it okay so one point zero two and the answer is what is it is six point oh eight times ten to the power negative four okay so we have determined our answer to be 6.076 times 10 to the negative 4 uh, which is approximately how much which is approximately 0 0.000 and 6076 if we change from scientific to standard notation okay so let me know if you have any questions all right